hello my gorgeous friends okay welcome to this part of the video so today we are going to be uh, fetching and displaying the data that we just added to the database so we're going to be fetching them and displaying them in our UI first of all let's write the logic for actually fetching the data and then we're going to add a model class okay to actually uh, store save like we use it as a part to get our data okay so now we are going to be uh, using this model class all right but not so fast let's first of all create uh, the service so we we'll get we we'll say get tax service dot that then inside here now we are going to be creating a class which is called get user tax okay what did i do okay get user tax like so and then from here now we're going to be creating uh, first thing I'm going to do is to uh, have this base URL here. So this is a service. It's not like a, we are not using uh, states. Uh, we are not using because we are using feature builder to actually fetch this data. So we won't be using a chain notifier or provider. That's why you see I didn't extend any stuff here. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is just to create a future. So normally this feature is supposed to return a tax model okay but for now we have not added the tax model because we want to see what this uh, data is going to print out before we can create the tax model so we have get tax here and it's going to be in a sync function a synchronous one so i'll be getting the to do uh, the user id and also the token as well so this is it okay for the token and also for the user's id and then i'm also going to have the url so remember the url is this and the url now has user id which i'm passing the tax the last id blah 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 and stuff like that same thing applies if we look at the uh, the api doc you can see we have users user id which we are actually going to concatenate which i did the tax the last id and if we're working with uh, pagination and the uh, pagination to 20 but for now i'm not going to implement pagination you can do that as a tax so i'm just going to leave it like this all right so that we are we are moving on i'm going to add a try and catch exception to actually catch for errors and stuff like that okay so uh this will show a lot of error because i'm copying and pasting it right here so see what is happening first thing let me import because we are working with http right so we need to add a http library okay and add the alias okay like so so see what is happening here now final request is still the same thing as every other request we have been making uh which http.get so now we are using get request we are not using post we are not using delete we are trying to get the data so that's why i'm using get if you look at this endpoint i can see the method here is get all right so we are using http.get then we pass the url then we'll pass the authorization header with the bearer of token which we got from here right and also I print the request or status code and here I'm checking if the request or status code is equal to 200 uh, you can actually check again if the request is actually maybe it can it might be 201 so it depends uh, just leave it that way because every API is different they depend on their own response right okay then you can print the response then what we are doing here JSON we need to import the convert okay that convert so we decode the response.body then we are able to get the tax but for now we are not really sure what is returning right so let's just uh, leave it like this okay and then the tax model okay i'm just going to remove that as well then the error and blah 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 and everything get user tax app url and this okay so we have gotten rid of that error so now let's query this get user tax then once you query it, we want to see the response, then we can actually use that response to generate our model class and actually know what to do. Because from this API, it didn't really show uh, the response from the API dog. So what we are going to do now is to go over to our homepage, which is where we are going to be fetching the data using Future Builder. So I will go over to homepage here. All right. So uh, the first thing I want to do is to comment this child okay i'm just going to comment it because i'm still going to use the data all right and is it child okay yeah i'm going to comment the child so for now we won't be using this tax again because for now it's just it's useless okay we don't need it so i'm going to get rid of that so right here now inside this page i'm going to have a child and i will call that a future builder okay 
but i think before i actually do this i need to create the model first okay yeah before i do this feature builder let me first of all leave it the way it was before then whenever we come to this page i'll just fetch the data all right so inside the new state i just want to see what is going to print okay okay so why is the new state not working okay in this state i will get the user just call the function get user tax dot get tax all right so i want to see the response first before we can do any other thing so let me do a hot restart here so just pay attention to this uh, console okay so just give it some minutes and you should see a response all right so this is the response status success message tax retrieve successfully so we have successfully retrieved our tax and you can see the tax and you can see the id of the tax and every other thing so what i can do now is just to copy this tax and once you copy it we head over to our browser so the best way to actually generate a model class is to go to your browser and then you go to this website quick type dot uh yeah uh, app.quicktype.io so you want to uh, make that full screen okay so once you go to quicktype.io what we can do we just to paste it here okay paste the model class there and then here and we change it to model tax model sorry okay something is wrong okay this is actually in goland so we have to change that language to goland where do i go okay okay it's actually in yeah in swift so we change it to that so we look for that here and change it it's going to generate the that model for us so depending on the language you are using so now we can copy it uh just copy the code okay so 70 lines copied once you copy it we can now go back to our code okay so inside here now we are going to create a model so we, are, we will be calling this one tax model and i think this will generate a lot of errors for us because we, the type code does not um, generate the data in form of uh, uh, no safety so we are going to add that manually by adding each of these keywords each of these operators okay to get rid of those errors right like so and we will do the same thing here So once you are done now we can now go back to integrate each of those methods but this one also need it to be added okay so now we have our tax model tax model this is how to pass it so we have already integrated that inside the get tax model so uh, i will just go back to get tax model and then on comment all this stuff that i already done so we are uh, actually sure of what is coming okay so you can see tax tax retrieve tax so this is tax don't actually re uh, return if the tax is empty it's tax don't normally ret return empty array so that's why i had to check if it's null so if it's null we just uh, return an empty tax model okay yeah that would be better we just return an empty tax model like so so i'll be importing this tax model now okay and the json i'll also be importing it as well and uh yep so now from this future we are actually returning a tax model like so okay so what is happening here so if request the status code is 200 we check if the json the request that which is the tax we just to decode it and then check if this tax this tax here if is equal to null then we return an empty tax model then if the tax is not equal to null we use the tax model from json which is actually from this our model class by default they, they, they will give us a method to actually pass the the tax model okay so you just have to pass your request.body note you don't need to decode it when you are passing it here just leave it the way it is request.body don't decode it okay then we return the tax model then else if there's any error we return an uh, empty tax model else we throw an error to the user okay so that's it yep and we can now go back okay so and the next thing we are going to do now is actually to fetch those data so we are going to fetch those data and then display it to the user right here 
so this one now is no more needed because we have already gotten the response we want so now we are going to display those those data to the user and then once we display it we are going to delete the data from the database all right so we're going to do that in the next section and then we call this a wrap